night crick digger bottle auction i've got some nice milks um that you saw in the last video that big dairy dig that we had i had a private collector pick up most of the rare ones but i got some uh milks we've got some awesome stuff tonight including the green dr townsend's um <clears throat> some really neat stuff out of both mine and the wife's collection as well so i think you guys are going to really enjoy it it's been an awesome week um work-wise and then today me and brother man david urban sasquatch you guys know him as on here went out to the hospital slash hotel dump will and henry joined us a little bit later we got some awesome stuff it was a great dig today and uh we're gonna find something to get in tomorrow as well but welcome welcome for all you guys tuning in thank you so much and get ready here we go i'm gonna flip these around into the light box for those of you that haven't been with the channel very long, hey, Lori, good to have you tonight, sister lady. This is something that I dug probably five or six years ago, and this is a really unique piece of history. This is a stoneware beer stein from the New Carnegie Library. Check that out. Arnie, what's up, my brother, man? Good to have you tonight. So let me get the light shining on this a little better. Turn the turntable on, and then you're going to enjoy Bottle Hound version number one, and we will see you right back after the music, guys. Here we go. Nice, real nice bird cage ink tonight, Jay, buddy. Scott, what's up, brother? Good to have you tonight. Ben Carr, what's up, my brother?
David, my brother, man, Steve Coppin, what is up, guys? Good to have everybody tonight. For those of you that don't know, I dug that thing in the pouring down rain with Trav Jr., and he was just a little toddler then, shivering cold to death, and out popped that bad boy. He's always been my good luck charm. Had him with me on the the uh, farmer's dairy dig and we absolutely killed it and uh, i'll probably never ever let go of this one but yeah this is a rare piece of history another really awesome find with trab jr so there you guys go isn't that cool brother <clears throat> got some nice stuff tonight too for you guys to bid on as well as some nice syrupy waffles as well Let's go ahead and start off tonight, right off the bat. It's not Cumberland. Um, I believe it's Baltimore, Patrick. I'm pretty sure it's Baltimore. And what the, if you guys don't know, a little history lesson real quick. The BPOE stands for the Benevolent Protective Order of the Elk. And I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail, but it was basically like a uh, a chapter or a Masonic, you know, um, group. It was kind of like that, just a special secret group. And uh, one of their meeting places, I guess, was the New Carnegie Library. And that mug is early, like 1903 era. Yeah, the Elks Club. Isn't that awesome? It's got the county courthouse. It's got the handle and everything. And um, you can see the little hole in the handle. It would have had like a little piece right here that you push down with your thumb to open up the top of the lid. Yeah, I've been fortunate, Scott. I found some amazing steins over the last couple of years. Rockham, what's up, my brother? Good to have you. So here's what we're going to do to start off the night, guys. As soon as I figure out, here they are. We're going to start off with two, not one, but two special run J-Bo shooters. Look at these wet mint beauties. You got an orange and kind of a light sky blue, and then you got a blue and an orange with the, like a kind of a darker blue, but check that out, guys. Special run J-Bows. Wait till you see these bad boys in the black light. Honey love, where's the black light? Huh? You getting it? I need it, baby girl. Is it in the bedroom? I'm running a pair of j to start off. Hold on one second, guys. Wait till you see these in the black light. These two beauties are going to be a $15 starting bid on the pair. Catherine, you, yes, ma'am, you do need to register to bid. If you scroll down under the chat and hit more, I believe it is, in the description, I have the directions listed on how to register. We'd love to have you. My wife is here on standby, so we get any emails or whatever. But, yeah, check out the description. It does explain how to register. Pretty quick process. We just need a little inf information from you. And then you can bid. 
But right now, guys, we're going to start these bad boys out. $15 start. Ben, $15, buddy, on the pair of j Special Run Shooters. That is for both of them bad boys. Julia's in at 15, looking for 16. Wait till you see these in the black light, too, guys. They're amazing. Hey, you're welcome. We'd love to have you. Looking forward to you. Thank you, baby girl. Who's Steve Joyner's in at 17. Looking for 18. The bag. You got this one. 17. Julia's in at 20. 20 looking for 21. 20 looking for 21. Check this out right here, guys. Yeah, box, please. I didn't get anything out of that box, honey. Real nice. You got a purple and pink glower, and then you got a bright green and bright orange glower. So there they are in the black light. Really nice design. Check it out, guys. No, the join tab is actually a special membership. That really doesn't have anything to do with the uh, auction. Should be just right in the description. If anybody could help out Catherine, I'd appreciate that on how to find the description um, of tonight's auction. We're at 20 right now with Julia looking for 21. 20 looking for 21. Absolutely no damage. These are both wet mint. Never been played with. Special run j -Bos. Steve's in at 25. Thank you, my brother. 25 looking for 26. Swamp says you got to X out of chat. And then the description should be right there. Julia's in at 30, looking for 31. 30, looking for 31. Not one, but two j -Bo special run shooters. 30, looking for 31. Uh, you took them out of my box, little I sweetie didn't. love. I didn't. Steve's in at 31. Oh, you got to X out of chat and then click more. Let me know if you have any other issues. Hey, Poofy, good to have you tonight, sister lady. 31 looking for 32. 31 looking for 32. Thirty-one looking for thirty-two on the pair of special run J Bo shooters. Kind of dancing out there for you guys. Hopefully the picture is good tonight, and and the uh, zoom and all that stuff has been fixed. I don't have it up on the TV screen just yet, but it's looking good on the phone. Let me know if you guys have any kind of issues. And I'll try the best I can to help out. Also, I'm going to go ahead and start the timer for the giveaway. Whenever you guys hear the timer, I'm not going to tell you what's on it, but whenever you hear it, it'll be time for the giveaway.
Anybody else interested in the j -Bos? We're looking for 32 or higher. 32 or higher. You notice me, Tiny Trav, sitting on the bottles? Yeah, Kimberly did all that. That's props to the wifey. She, she set up a heck of a thumbnail. And the cool part about the thumbnail is, guys, she took each one of those bottles, individual pictures, and then methodically placed them on that background. So she did a heck of a job on that. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm not seeing any other interest. We're going to give you 10 seconds to bid. You got 32 or higher. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to my brother, man, Steve Joyner at 31. Nice pickup, brother, man, Steve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We never did get any more marble bags, did we, honey? You just, could you just get us some? <laughs> I can't, I can't order them. Yeah, Travis's birthday. Right. Oh, yeah, speaking of Travis's birthday, if anybody would like to travel down here next weekend to good old Cumberland, Maryland. Or I guess it'd be LaVale, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're having a skating party for Trav Jr.'s 12th birthday party. I won't be skating, so if you don't skate, don't feel like you... Next Friday <laughs> at Starlight at 7.30. If anybody would like to come out and show their support and hang out. It's an open invite. Absolutely. We'd love to see you guys. He would be tickled pink. Yeah, he would. All right, let me write you down here, Steve, so we don't forget anybody. Sometimes I get to talking. Yeah, Starlight. No, you wasn't betting against someone not registered, Steve. Julia is registered and has been our customer for a while. Um, phone case is still a thing, right? Yeah, I still definitely need a phone case, baby. It's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> here's the here's these though. That was gonna be momentarily. How about these guys? I was getting prices. Okay, baby. You can put the um, eye cup up if you want. Oops. Put the eye cup up. Check it out, guys. Next up in line, we have a gorgeous deep cobalt, almost purple, eye wash cup. So you'd have your eye solution in here, and basically you would just put it right over your face, you know, and... Wash your head back and forth. It does have a little chip out of the base there, out of the side, you can see. But really nice, pretty cobalt nice. blue. And I will actually put two marbles in beside that one out of my jar here. Nice I'm going to put in one of my ladybugs that I changed the name to the widow. <laughs> and I'm going to put in, let's see here, and I'm going to put in this pretty one here. It's kind of a maroon color and on white. I was trying to find the purple looking one. There you guys go. Two marbles. $20, sir. And the eye wash cup. 
Cobalt Eyewash Cup. $20 start. Cindy says, hi, Travis and Kimberly. Hi, Cindy. Hey, sister lady. Good to have you tonight. Um, your one bottle just came out of the tumbler, so I'll be sending your stuff on its way. Oh, yeah, Cindy. I pulled your horse hutch tonight, and it came out really nice. You're going to be tickled with that one. $20 start, guys, on the eyewash cup and the two marbles. Yeah, I can shine the UV on those. I don't know if they react or not. Let's go ahead and find out. A little bit. It reacts a little bit, honey. It does. We're going to add one that does react. We just tried out. A real pretty cobalt one there but let me flip the lights off here and we'll find out if anything else does oh yeah look at that ladybug reaction guys it's got like neon lasers running through that bad boy and then this one over here glows a real nice purple the eyewash cup has a kind of a purplish green tint you can see there and then another glower so yeah you actually get three glowers and the eyewash cup and then here is a look with the regular light real quick. Kind of a deep purple glow on that. that not and then back to the regular lights. Looking for a $20 start on all that right there, baby. Where's your pit on your tape at so I can... Oh, this tape here? Here, sweetie. I do. There you go. Three marbles and the cobalt eyewash cup. Andrea's in at 20. Thank you, sister lady. 20 looking for 21. 20 looking for 21, guys. Out of the stuff you guys saw in the thumbnail, what would you like to, to uh, do a waffle on? If anything, let me know. We could possibly make that happen. 20 looking for 21 on the cobalt eyewash cup. And three marbles. Where's the what? Probably in that back box. Oh, this one. Okay, baby. I think so. Maybe I got the birdhouse one anyway. Yeah, I got the snail one. They're in these boxes out here. <clears throat> That's why I thought the marbles went with it because they were sitting literally right yeah, there beside it. The you shouldn't put stuff right there. I would have thought them before the snail link anyway. So that last one. Oh, that's this one we're on. Never mind. Anybody else interested in the cobalt eyewash cup and three marbles? 21 or higher. Let that beauty spin around one more time. And then we're going to call it. All right, guys, you got 10 seconds left to bid 21 or higher. Everything you see in front of you. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Andrea. $20, sister lady. Great pickup to you. And the ladybug said, I'm out of here. There you go, Andrea. Nice pickup. Taking down number two. Okay. You need two? I actually need a 
empty box. But actually, I can get right there right now. Good deal. I do need some tape, though, yes. And I think that was my last marble bag. Baby. Didn't she have the first? You said that was two for her, right? No, the three. Was Steve. The first one was Steve. You already got his. Andrea? Yeah, this is Andrea. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sweetie. Mm. Alright. Number three. Here we go, guys. Number three. We're just going to keep on rolling right into the good stuff. You got a cobalt glass bottle to go with that? Oh, that's so cool. Check this one out right here, guys. This is a Colgate and Company in a crazy emerald green with like a football top. Look at that beauty, would you? Is it seized on there, baby girl? I wasn't going to try to pour yeah, it. Yeah, I think it I think it is seized. It is a blown and mold tooled top. You can see there with the original cork or stopper. Really pretty Colgate and Company monogram. No damage, kind of a teal green, beautiful green on that. Forest green. Let me turn the other light on so you can see that pretty green. Oh, it already was on. Here, use this for the bottom light. Way brighter. Way brighter. Yeah, but it can't spin around. Stick it on the turntable. It'll spin. No, it'll drag across the turntable, honey. Okay, we'll just use it to show the bottom. <laughs> the, the ink. Wayne, what's up, buddy? Turn the spinning thing off when you see them together. Yep, for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Scott. All right, let's grab some more marbles, guys. Right we got a purple and blue and yellow. We got a real pretty kind of an orange, cockatiel. red, and yellow cockatiel. That's called a cockatiel. Thanks, baby girl. And then... Did you hear me about that bottle right there beside you? How about a real cool kind of a black with like a silverish or gray streak running through it? There you guys go. Three marbles and the emerald green Colgate Company perfume or smelling salts. That one's going to be a $45 start. Right around 1890s to about 1905 is the age. Looking for 45 and the three marbles. Yeah, it looks good tonight. They got the zoom fixed finally. It's a pretty bottle. What are you looking at, baby? UV light. UV light. Andrew is addicted to the UV light like a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. UV light. No. Uh, little kind of a pinkish. Not too much UV light reaction on these ones. What's what sign? Bud, don't do that to me. What? Don't do that to me. Oh. I was like, oh, I guess he ain't going to play Fortnite. Nope. Auction time, buddy Trav. 45 start. Anybody interested? 
emerald green Colgate and Company smelling salts with the stopper and three marbles. Bill Murrow, my brother. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. What are you trying to get out of there, baby? That sticker fell on there. <laughs> go get the go get one of them um, pipe cleaners that's hanging up by the sink. That'd probably be easier than trying to get it with an ink pen. Gonna let that one spin around one more time, guys. Okay, we'll drop it to forty. If anybody's interested, we'll drop it to forty. Forty dollar start on the Colgate and Company. Green smelling salts and three marbles. Good connection tonight for some reason. Well, I'm glad to hear that, brother. Heck yeah. Good to hear, sir. Anybody? Anybody? Hello? 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 Is anybody there? Is there anybody out there? <laughs> Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Where's <laughs> Pi? I don't know. She said she was going to stay awake, but I don't know. Maybe she hasn't made it on yet. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull that one, guys. The start, Julia, is $40 on that one. $40 start. Real nice. Kind of a teal green, deep forest green with the original stopper and three marbles. Colgate and company. Would you do 35? Yeah, we can start at 35. 35 it is. 35, we're gonna go with it. Looking for 36. 35, looking for 36. keep putting green larkin it's not a larkin it's actually a, a tougher to find than the larkin is yeah it is will found a larkin today andrea is in at 36 thank you sister lady looking for 37 36, looking for 37. Bill's got that variant, or he would bid. I feel you on that, brother. Julia's back at 40. Thank you, sister lady. 40, looking for 41. 40, looking for 41. Andrea is out. Appreciate you. Anybody else? 41 or higher. There's three variants. That's the first Colgate smelling salts I've seen, Bill. That's awesome. No, we sold another one. Oh, we sold another one. Apparently, it's the second one I've seen then. But, all right, we're going to go to last call, guys. If you like this, you got 10 seconds left to bid. 41 or higher. Here we go. In five, four, three two one sold 1890s to 1905 julia you got that for 40 dollars, sister lady 40 dollars, and don't forget about the three marbles nice nice pickup this is in ohio with you is it baby i was wondering
Congratulations, Julia. <laughs> I could probably just write right on the bags on these, honey. Well, yeah, it's it's permanent marker. Yeah, it stays on there. It's working. It's working, my lovey. Yeah, it's Torledo, Ohio. Torledo? Is that a new place? Yeah, or Columbus, Ohio. You mean Toledo, honey? Toledo. Yeah, whatever you know. Was it Torledo? Shut up. <laughs> That says the Golden House, Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, let me see that one. Pop that one up there. Helium Voice next for next item. <laughs> so it's either Columbus or Helium voice, baby. Okay. We got a golden here. That's not helium. Golden here whiskey. That's like Elmo. <laughs> I don't know. Helium, like. You do it then, honey. I can't talk. I don't do voices. Blown in mold, double collar. Beautiful whiskey bottle. It's like, what is how each people talk when they're on helium? I do. Mm -mm. Oh, good lord. And she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Bobby from Bobby's World. She yeah. said it was perfect. That's See there? See, I didn't, turdo. I didn't sound very helium -ish. Thank you so much, Julia. More Elmo is. I really thing. appreciate that. More Elmo's good buddy. This also comes with a giant shooter marble. <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah, that's right. That's my helium. There you go. And that one's a what, baby? $40 start. I gave you the sticker thing on it, honey. $40 start, guys, on the Golden Hill, Columbus, Ohio. Half pint whiskey or Toledo and a really nice shooter marble. And let's see if that reacts to the black light. Let's check it real quick. It does. It has like kind of an eerie green, eerie slime green glow. Look at that. And the marble does not react. Though. The bottle does. That's wild looking. See that, baby? Ooh, yeah. spooky. Whoa. Spooky, spooky. Boogie, woogie. $40 start, guys, on the Golden Hill Whiskey. 1880s, 1890s on that one. I got into some nice earlier stuff today at the hospital dump as well. David was right there beside me. He got some really cool stuff, too. So this is not the candy. This is the whiskey, correct? I'm almost positive. I think so, baby girl. I think. I think that came actually from... How about 35, guys? How about 35? We'll drop her to 35 on the Golden Hill whiskey bottle. And the measurement on this one. Let's see what I did with my tape measure. The measurement on this one is five and a half inches. Five and a half inches is all that one is. $35 start. Yeah, it's considered the, um, like the miniature size, I guess. No, not not um, David Anderson, Bill. Urban Sasquatch, David.
We'll let that one spin around one more time, guys. Is, it, is that what's, is that um, his son down visiting? That's cool. I didn't know that. Golden Hill, guys. Last call, 35. Anybody? Thirty, babe. You take thirty. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thirty dollars. No pressure. Here we go. Thirty. Looking for thirty-one. The son that plays the French horn. Oh, cool. I'm glad that he's down visiting. Hope they're having a good time. I missed the Baltimore. We missed the Baltimore show last weekend, guys. The wheel bearing was horrible. And then oh, after I it. after two days of slaving on that, I got it changed. The other side on the rear was bad too, so I had to change it. The other side only took an hour and fifteen minutes though, <laughs> so I got better at it. The first side took two daggum days. Trying out for an orchestra. Oh, that is neato. Scott, I didn't find any dosing cups today, or no dosing caps today. Looking for 31 or higher, guys. 31 or higher. On the Golden Hill Whiskey and the Shooter Marble. Okay, guys, you got 10 seconds left to bid. 31 or higher. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to my sister, Lady Andrea. At $30. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. Bill scored a killer gasoline Michelin's bitters. Oh, yeah. I think you sent me a picture of that one. Sewing machine oil bottles. Um, I do have sewing machine oil bottles. I don't know about tonight particularly, but I can make sure I definitely have a couple of them for next auction for you. Where did they be at? Just in a random box of Doug yeah. stuff. I don't know. Do the Chewbacca thing. Stop. I can't do it when you tell me to do it. See? It's okay, honey. Just try. I just did, and I can't. <laughs> yeah, baby girl. That's funny. All right, guys. Number four is sold. It just it has it's something to do with it happens inside my neck. I don't know what happens, but it just comes out. Yeah. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> I know I like Did you set up a price on that one? All you have to do is look. All right. Guys, I got a killer deal for you coming up. That in Andrea's bag, real quick. Next up, check it out. We got a snail ink, guys. Ground lip snail inkwell. Look at that beauty, beauty. Out of my collection. Smooth base. Out of the wifey's collection. It's got kind of like a dome top. You can see there. Really, really nice condition, too. A snail ink. And she's also throwing in this peach four vein cat eye. Catherine said she sent her info. Mm, Could you check that real quick, my love? Isn't that awesome, Andrea? And this one, guys, she's actually started this one out at only $30. Got it. And, or Catherine, we have your information. Yeah, y'all know I'm going to UV that one for sure. You ready for it? We have your information. Catherine, you are welcome to bid, sister lady. 
Look at the green glow on that one, guys. Isabel, you in the auction? What in the world? And then look at the marble light up real nice and orange with the UV light. Yes, that will turn a real nice amethyst if you leave it out in the sunlight. But let's go. Steve's in at 35. Thank you, my brother. 35 looking for 36. Isabel. 35 looking for 36. Calling Miss Isabel. She's here. Yes, Kim, she says. It is on its way, honey. You did not delete it. It went out today with your other stuff. It went out today with your other stuff, is. So don't worry, it's coming. 35 looking for 36 on the Snail Ink and the Shooter Cat Eye. Catherine's in at 36. Thank you, Sister Lady. 36 looking for 37. Just didn't want you to have to worry about that. Steve's oh, back you. at 40. Thank you, brother man. 40 looking for 41. Did you? I think I did. <laughs> it's all right, baby. I know he's been waiting on it, but... The snail know. ink, I'd say 1880s, 1890s, brother. Ground top. That's an early one. I did. That's an early one. I've never dug a snail ink yet, even to this day, in 11 years. Not even mm -hmm. broken. That's a tough ink to get your hands on. 41 or higher. 41 or higher on the snail ink and the shooter cat eye marble. What'd you do, baby? Catherine's in at 42. Steve's back at 45. Looking for 46. 46 or higher. Violet's doing good, Bill. She should be in the auction very shortly if she's not already watching. I was just talking to her right before the auction started. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> she might have fell asleep. <laughs> Andrea's back at 46. Thank Poor you, thing. sister lady. Catherine's going to pass. Thank you. Appreciate you. Steve's back at 50. After we get to 50, guys, remember $2 increments. So we're looking for 52 or higher. Gary's got the popcorn. Andrea's in at 52. Looking for 54. 52 looking Here for 54. Right one, Steve's back at 60. He ain't playing around. He wants to snail. <laughs> 60 looking for 62 on the snail. <laughs> Wondering what the world you were doing. Andrea's in at 62 looking for 64. <laughs> I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> Steve's back at 70 brother man 70 looking for 72 All right. I got 70 it to the looking right for 72 <laughs> what happened baby I got it to the right person now to the right email oh okay good deal David if you're watching sorry I sent it to the wrong <laughs> I sent it to yours I don't know what is going on with our daughter. Andrea is out. Thank you, sister lady. I don't think there was any other bidders going, guys. So we're going to give you 10 seconds left. 72 or higher. Here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Sold to Brother Man Steve Joyner at 70. Yes, one more marble. You got it, brother. I'll throw in an extra marble for you. I'll let the wifey pick it out because she don't like the ones that I do. 
<laughs> she always turns her noses up. Her nose. That'd be cool if she had noses, though, wouldn't it? No, it would not be cool. <laughs> You throw that one in there. Dang, you're you got a nice one. Nice one. Steve, here is your extra bonus marble, brother. Kind of a half black and white. No, look at the colors on the inside of that blackish. Oh yeah, it's got some like deep, deep brownish bronze. It's got some pretty colors in there, Steve. It is like a. I'll throw that in your bag like for a you, brother. Color to it. Beautiful. I knew that's what he was. Sent it to the wrong one. He paid it instantly. Uh, sorry about that, Mr. Jones. The wife, he sent the invoice to the wrong David. No, it sent to the right David, just the wrong email. Oh, the wrong email. Okay. All right. What's up next on the agenda? Number six. What do we got? There's stuff in here. How about this bad boy? This is a, a nice marble. This that. is a cool bottle. I recently dug one of these in the hospital dump, guys, and didn't know what it was. But now I do. You'll be back. All right, Catherine. We'll we'll be here. <clears throat> Check this out, guys. You remember the one that I just dug recently that said acid line? Well, this one actually says manufactured by Badger Fire Extinguisher Company. Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Look at that. Blown in mold, double collar. Kind of has like a citrate top on it. That is a really nice fire extinguisher bottle, guys. Absolutely pristine condition. 1890s to about 1905. And the wifey's bringing over a shooter marble to go with it. Kind of like a yellowish olive color look at that beautiful marble there nice shooter wet mint there you guys go and this one's gonna be a 40 dollars start 40 dollars start on the fire extinguisher bottle badger fire extinguisher let me go ahead and pop the black light on here Look at the green glow. That thing almost glows like it's got uranium in it, guys. Well, it does have a... It's, it's got manganese in it. It's got a, it's got a green tint to but it. But, man, that thing is nice. Look at the bright, bright green glow on that it's one. Green tint to it. And then look at the marble. Bright orange glow in the UV light. We got Steve Joyner, brother man, in at 40. Thank you, brother. Looking for 41. 40 looking for 41 on the fire extinguisher bottle. Jake, brother, good to have you. Good to have you. Thanks for popping in. 41 or higher. What's that, your Fab Fit Fun stuff? Nice, baby. Also, guys, my daughter, Dias, has her own little business set up. It's called D's Vintage Wax on Facebook. So if you guys like candles and little scent items and things like that, she's just starting out. Definitely help out my daughter. She's very talented. We and do some Crick Digger candles once we get the... Uh, I know that her business is going to go a long way. But yeah, D's, just the letter D, apostrophe S, Vintage Wax is the name of her business. Andrea's in at 41. Thank you, sister lady. 41, looking for 42. 41, looking for 42. So anytime you guys are out there and you find a bottle that says acid line on it, now you know. It was an old fire extinguisher bottle. Isn't that well, just the neatest not. thing? I, don't know if all of them are. I think they were. Maybe. I think that they were. You might be right. All right, I'm gonna go get them. Okay, baby girl. Mm -hmm. I need some sodas on your way back, please. Yes, I know. I just got the okay. 
too, though. I still got one more bag of chips and the ranch dip. Yes, absolutely, Isabel. Her business on Facebook is called D's. Just the letter D apostrophe S. Oh, it's a business on there, D's a Vintage Wax. Yeah, I don't think she has it set up as a business page. I think it's just like a normal Facebook page. But you can see what she's offering and contact her to purchase the stuff. Steve, on this one, 1890s to about 1905, brother. It's kind of like a light mint green, and it glows really crazy. D. Salza from Barton, Maryland. Huh? Tyler, what's up, buddy? Ever seen a bottle with veterinary anything on it? Oh, absolutely, Julia. Um, it's got a picture of her and her boyfriend sitting in, a, I think, the couch, maybe. Not her vintage wax one. It's got candles and stuff on it. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, honey. You're Hold talking on. to a regular... Facebook page. That's the one that she made. Steve's in at 42, looking for 43. She does live in Barton, so. She does live in Barton, Maryland. She just sent me it last night. It's not her and Richard. It's oh, her candles and stuff. This one. Right, yeah. Um, 42, looking for 43. This picture. This is the picture that you guys are looking for, and that's how you that's how you spell it. She's currently at twenty seven followers, so go on there and let's make her night. These oh, yeah, vintage wax, things. there it is, guys. That's the start of my daughter's business. I've been her guinea pig. Entrepreneurship, <laughs> I love it. She takes after her mama. Forty two, looking for forty three, guys. Badger Fire Extinguisher Company, Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Thomas Miller, what's up, brother? Good to have you tonight. Andrea's in at 43, looking for 44. Um, Mason Jar Crick Digger Candles coming in the future. Your wife loves that primitive and vintage stuff. Me awesome. Too. Awesome. A lot of people do, and she is very mm -hmm. talented. You know, she puts her heart and soul into stuff. Her house is, she's got her her house house is yeah, here. absolutely gorgeous. Mine would be. Steve Joyner's in at 44, looking for 45. 44, looking for 45. Mine will be eventually. I have all the stuff. Just know where to put it. 44, looking for 45. I know, brother. Wasn't that an awesome, Megtooth? And Crocs. Yeah, I don't think the Crocs are for sale, brother, but she does love the Crocs. I got, I, I was, She's got I, some nice I got ones. Some Crocs. <laughs> some pretty ones. Yeah, we got some nice ones, And then too. I got this really cool primitive sign that says Crocs. <laughs> Just look, there's nothing there except email info. Yeah, I don't think it's actually like a sales page yet, Arnie. I'll she's her she's trying out. to figure out how to do all that stuff. And like I said, she's just starting it out, so I'm not sure how far along she is. But I know she's been posting like different fragrances and things like that recently. Andrea is out. Appreciate that, brother man. Steve, looking. I'll at, keep you posted. Is leading at forty-four. We need forty-five or higher. You got ten seconds, guys. Last call. Ten seconds to bid. In five, four, three, two, one. So. To my brother man, Steve Joyner at 44. 44 on the fire extinguisher bottle. Nice pickup, Steve, brother. Just in time for giveaway number one. Heck no, it was beautiful outside, honey. I think it's still probably in the 40s. Maybe even 50s. 
I'm not sure. You might want to wear a hoodie or something. All right, giveaway number one, guys. It's going to be a nice little half pint Queen City Co op dairy from Cumberland, Maryland. It does got a little ding on the back of the lip there, but that's the giveaway. Safe milk. And I'll throw in a nice shiny cockatiel shooter marble to go with it. There you guys go. That's going to be giveaway number one. Looks like we got 53 people in the room. You're showing 78, Bill? Dang, well, how come I'm not showing them? I wish I was. Oh, Bill says it's 78 degrees there. <laughs> yeah, where you are. Yeah, buddy, living it up. You don't own anything you're buying tonight? That's awesome, Steve, brother. I'm glad you're getting it too, buddy. Some he's really like, good stuff. I'm buying tonight. I mean, she's, he's not going to be owning it. Oh, he's not going to be owning it? <laughs> really glad. <laughs> I don't think he quite read the comment correctly. <laughs> you getting it for other people? Are you wifey? Where are we at here? Write a number. Oh, yeah, I got to write a number down. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get my paper. Okay. So this one's going to be... Mm. You buying for your wife, Steve? <laughs> See this baby girl? No. What's the first number? Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I got the number picked out, wrote down on the paper, putting it behind the turntable. I'm going to count down from five. <laughs> Steve said I'm buying things I don't have. I See, I was right. I was right. You was wrong. <laughs> All right, guys. In five, oh, no, four, three, two, one. Oh, no, five, four, three, two, one. Start guessing a number between one and 50. Here we go. Oh, okay. Golly, baby girl. Oh, man, they're ripping in like crazy. Nobody's hit it yet, though. Keep going, guys. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Who? Oh, there it is. Ceasefire, ceasefire. Steve, Steve Cop and my brother. As soon as I can find my paper back here that the turntable ate. There it is. Steve calling with number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Mr. Steve Coppin. He likes milks, too. Yep. He does like milks, too. That's a good buy. Or a good win. Good job, Steve. Giveaway number one is to you, my brother. Speaking of Steve. Okay, baby. you a marble bag going here. <laughs> Swamp Fox said the same thing I did. <laughs> What's that? He loves milk, but he likes milk. Oh. Uh. Alright, I gotta go get the girls. The heck? Huh? I don't know. This thing's being weird. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm 
Rockhound's numbers are still coming. Dang, Rockhound <laughs> still wants that thing. Poor fella. He must have been putting him out really fast. Brockhound, I think your lag is a, a probably about a minute or two <laughs> off there, my brother. I think he just put so many numbers out there just coming in. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Next up, C. Smith Pharmacist out of South Natick. South Natick, Massachusetts. Never heard of that place before. It's got an 1871 mortar and pestle monogram on it it is blown and mold tooled cork top the bottle itself around 1890s to 1905 smooth base it has kind of a little rough spot but not really damage can't really even feel it with your finger too much but there you guys go c smith pharmacist South Natick, Massachusetts. This one's going to be a $20 start. And let me find a cool marble to go with it. Oh, here's a banger. Here is a banger. Check it out. Blue with like a white swirl. Pretty marble. We'll put that one right beside it. There you guys go. $20 start. Make sure you guys are on, yeah, live chat instead of top chat. All right, here we go. This one is five and an eighth, five and an eighth inches tall on that one. About to hit it with the black light. You can see it's got a really nice green glow to it. And the marble, kind of a purplish glow, but there you guys go. Scott's in at 20, looking for 21. Thank you, my brother, man. 20, looking for 21. C. Smith Pharmacist, South Natick, Massachusetts. Cool bottle and marble. 20, looking for 21. Steve Joyner's in at 30. Thank you, brother man. 30 looking for 31. Thirty looking for thirty-one. Hey, can you grab me one of your sodas? Andrew is in at 31, looking for 32. 31, looking for 32. Scott is out. Thank you, brother. Thirty-one looking for thirty-two. Thirty-one looking for thirty-two. We got 32, looking for 33, 32, looking for 33. 32, looking for 33. C. Smith Pharmacist. South Natick, Massachusetts, and a beautiful kind of a purple cobalt and white swirl marble to go with it, guys. 33 or higher. Andrea's in at 33. 33 looking for 34. 33, looking for 34. 
Oh, absolutely, brother. If you leave it out in the sunlight, it'll turn a nice light amethyst color. Steve's in at 34, looking for 35. 34, looking for 35. Andrea's in at 35, looking for 36. 35, looking for 36. We got 35, looking for 36. Steve's in at 36. David, what's up, buddy? No, 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 sir. No, sir, no, sir. The two ninety nine a month is a special membership for like bonus content and stuff. That doesn't have anything to do with the auction. It's just a one dollar one time registration just to show that you're not a troll. And that actually gets reimbursed on your first purchase. It doesn't? Oh, I thought it did. My fault. So yeah, it's just one dollar one time. There is no monthly fee or anything like that. Natick is just outside of Boston. Oh, that's cool, Scott. Appreciate that, brother. Okay, Andrea's at 40. Steve's in at 41, looking for 42. 41, looking for 42. No, Scott did because the auction only wasn't set up yet. Oh, okay. Hey, you're welcome, brother. We'd love to have you if you want to get registered. We'll watch for your information, and then once it comes in, you're good to bid. Andrea's leading at 43, looking for 44. 43, looking for 44. South Natick, Massachusetts, pharmacist C. Smith. Blown in mold, tooled, cork top, five and one eighth inches tall, and a beautiful blue and white swirl marble. Steve, back at 44. Thank you, brother man. 44, looking for 45. Bill, did you like that dig, man? Oh my gosh. That was one of the most incredible things I've ever got to experience or be part of. It was just amazing. So many awesome milk bottles came out. There was a total of 24 different dairies that came out of that one spot. Andrea's back at 46. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 47. 46, looking for 47. Steve's in at 47, looking for 48. 47, looking for 48. Also, guys, thank you so much for watching the uh, work week video as well. That's got like 1,200 views on it already. <laughs> That's awesome. People are watching the work week videos. This Wednesday's one's going to be real neat. We poured all the concrete. We did a lot of finishing stuff. I think you're going to like that. Andrea's leading the pack at 50, guys. Yeah, we got we rented a tiny little baby mini bobcat. I posted a reel on that for those of you that follow me on the reels. But we're looking for 52. 52 or higher. Are you going limp? You're out. <laughs> All right, Steve, brother. Andrea's leading at 50, guys. You got 10 seconds to bid. 52 or higher. 
Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Andrea at $50. Russ does know his plants. Yes, he does. He's an expert on that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun learning it all, too. I'm learning so much so fast, which is going to be neat for when we buy our house. Whenever we decide to buy our house, I'll have a lot of knowledge and then to do different things. I'm going to take it with me and see if it goes all the way to Frostburg. Okay, baby. So turn this on so you can listen for me. We're going to test these bad boys out. Andrea just bought an old medical cabinet from the 40s. Put a black light bulb in there. Been looking for medical bottles that light up. Oh, go. that is so cool. That one definitely lights up. You're gonna that one's gonna look great. We're gonna test out these walkie-talkie guys that say they have a 16 mile range. Yeah, for Trav's birthday, <laughs> he uh, picked out some walkie-talkies. 16 mile range. So now when he goes on bike rides and stuff up to the park. He can talk to us on the walkie-talkies. <laughs> He's like, Dad, there's some strange animals down here. I don't know what's going on. Toe. I said, well, you got my phone, son, recorded. He's like, I already left. <laughs> He's funny. Then there's some, guy in a some guy hiding behind a boat watching him. He's he's very cautious though. I, I taught him that. He knows what's going on and to watch his surroundings. If it don't feel right, get the heck up out of there. All right, I'll be back with the girls. All right, sweet love. What do you want me to do a waffle on? I was gonna put this on. You guys ready for waffle number one of the night? We can go ahead and kick off a waffle. You can do either this one and waffle. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Um, you could do like... Paul, what's up, buddy? Good to have you tonight. Family is doing really good. Eight, ten dollars spots. Matt McBottles, what's up, buddy? You guys want to do a waffle on a killer Stoddard whiskey? Look at this bad boy. Kind of an orange amber. I don't know why I can't zoom out now for some reason. Guess I'm all the way out. I'm all the way out. Fifteen ten dollars. Look at the color on that thing, guys. This is what's called a snap case. Snap case mold. You see the line going around there. Seam side, applied top. One pint whiskey flask. Look at that beauty. 1870s on that one, guys. Civil War period. Stoddard whiskey flask. Doesn't have any damage. What'd you say? Eight at ten? Mm -hmm. This one's going to be done in eight slots at $10 each. If anybody is interested, slots are now available for purchasing. Okay, baby girl. Gary taking number eight. Number eight is yours, my brother. Seven slots left, guys. Andrea taking one, three, and seven. One, three, and seven. Going fast. Their slots are ten dollars each. Josh Dondorf, number two, buddy. Good to have you tonight. Remaining slots are four, five, and six, guys. Four, five, and six are the last three slots remaining to fill this first waffle out. Just a small serving this time. Kind of a sampler. <laughs> Four, five, and six on the one pint seam side stoddard whiskey flask. It's 
It's got a sweet bubble, wing bubble trapped in the neck. Real nice applied top. Absolutely. I'll put a marble in there with it. And I'll pick out a real good one, too. I just actually saw one come to the surface here when I was checking. Check it out. We're going to put this marble in with it. It's black with a red streak or pink streak running through it. Look at that crazy marble. Kicked you out and said it was a private video. That's weird, Josh. Not yet, buddy. All right, let me see what's going on. It looks like Thomas Miller, you got number five. Thomas Miller, number five. It looks like David Jones, you got number four. David Jones, number four. And that leaves number six, guys. Number six is the last remaining slot available. And this one will be filled out. Yeah, I did real good at the hospital today, Matt. No more cathedral inks, but I got some cool, cool stuff. Teresa Smitherman locking in the final slot, number six. Sister Lady, you got it. That one is closed out, guys. So as soon as the wife gets back with the girls, we'll go ahead and find a winner for that one. Good luck to everybody that's involved in that one. It It's almost done, man. It's almost done. Not too much left there. I took my brother, man, Urban Sasquatch with me today. And uh, we did really good. We both got into some good stuff. You're a fan of Milks? The last video was the best dig video you've ever seen. Dang, Jake, I really appreciate that, brother, man. That's awesome of you. Really appreciate that. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Got to wait on the wifey on that one. All right, guys. Here's one that I dug out a long, probably about three or four years ago. Appreciate that, David, brother. Out with my brother, man, Badger, or David Kern. Some of you might know him as. He, he has a Facebook page, Badger's Bottles. But this one is out of my personal collection. And it is a rare bottle. This is a Jerusalem Medicine Company. New York, USA, blown and mold, tooled cork top, SCA in color. It's got a 113 on the base of it. Look at the really cool striations and patina on that. Yeah, we pulled over 100 milks out of that out of that dairy dump. 24 different at different uh, dairies came out of there. It was absolutely incredible. We had a local historian involved. We had the owner and CEO of the Grow West um, Cannabis Dispensary that is actually the ones that are developing that property. So just a really, really awesome experience to have that going on. I'm going to throw in one of my Widow marbles with this one, guys. And this one's going to be a $65 start. I know, Randy. That was his first time ever digging Jake, and he was so excited. <laughs> he said, I didn't think I would be, man. He said, but I really was. The It's right in the description, David. So if you close out of the chat and then hit more, the description of the auction should have all the information on how to register, my brother. Julie, hey, Julie from the UK. Good to have you tonight, sister lady. 
Appreciate that, Steve, brother. Yes, absolutely, UV light. This one is a really good one. Jerusalem Medicine Company. I have not seen another one since. Look at the really nice green glow on that one. You guys can see. And then the marble's got that really awesome, bright, bright neon orange. Real nice combo there. $65 start, guys, on that one. Jerusalem Medicine Company. Jake, there was about 14 or 15 of those milks that I had never seen before, brother. Picked up a killer elephant figural today. Nice, Matt. I've got some sweet figurals tonight, too, guys, that I pulled out of my personal collection. And I got a really cool um, squirrel figural from Matt's auction on uh, Thursday night. I can't wait to get that thing. Yeah, that's what it was. The elephant bottle, it was a disinfectant, like a bleach bottle almost. Sixty-five. Anybody on the Jerusalem Medicine Company says New York, USA. Eighteen nineties to about nineteen oh five. I've got some nice milks tonight, too, from the dairy, from the dairy dig, guys. So you have a chance to own a little piece of that history that I shared with you. Sorry the video was so long. I actually edited it out over an hour extra footage after that. So that's what I was left with, the best ones. And I just wanted to show all of them, so... We left them on there. The one that Trab Jr. pulled, the Hunter, that ends up being a Redding, Pennsylvania milk. And I actually gave that to him. He's got that in his collection. We'll let that one spin around one more time, guys. 65. I'll actually drop it down to 60 if anybody's interested. Oh, you just grabbed your phone? It is a great bottle, Andrea, and I have not put it up. I've had it in my collection now for several years. Jerusalem Medicine Company, New York, USA. And the Widow Marble. $60 start. Fifty-five. I will do fifty-five. Fifty-five's fair. We're gonna do it. Fifty-five on the Jerusalem guys. Remember two dollar increments after fifty. So we're looking for fifty-seven. Fifty-seven or higher. Fifty-seven or higher. Jerusalem Medicine Company. Steve Joyner's in at 57. Thank you, brother. Looking for 59. We got 57 looking for 59. 57 looking for 59. And the Widow Marble. I know you had said something about not feeling real good, Matt. Took a COVID test and it came out negative. Well, that's good. Been having fever and chills. Dang, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, it's just like a small little cold and it goes away real fast. Andrea's in at 59, looking for 61 or higher. 61 or higher. No damage. Jerusalem Medicine Company. New York, 
USA. Must be flu or sinus infection. Head feels like I have a vice on it. Oh, dang, Matt. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry to hear that, man. Steve is out. Thank you, brother. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the last call. You got 10 seconds to bid 61 or higher. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold! Hey! Andrea, you got that at 59, sister lady. 59 on the Jerusalem, dug by the Trav. Nice pickup. Sounds like a Black Widow. Oh, man. Yeah, check yourself for bite marks for sure, Matt. Hopefully nothing like that happened. Dang, buddy. Andrea's getting quite some really, really nice pickups tonight. Congratulations on another killer, sister lady. Yeah, the I-Cup was the actually the second thing that we sold, Thomas, buddy. Sorry about that, man. But next up, guys, next up, we got a killer. Little whiskey nip. Pistol whiskey nip. Look at that. It's got a, I don't know if you call that a ground top, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit rough looking. Got a purplish tint to it. You can see the SCA in that already. That thing is awesome right there, guys. Out of the Trav's collection there. Out of the Trav collection. Yep, Pistol Whip Whiskey. Pistol Whip Nisky. <laughs> That's what it is, poof. That thing is awesome. Let's go ahead and hit that one in the black light real quick, guys. Look at it. Look at that green glower. That'd look great in your medicine cabinet too, Andrea. Anybody's collection would be really nice to have that one. Early. Probably 1910, 1915 on that one. How many shots? I don't know. I'd say at least three on that one, buddy. That one is going to be a... $55, start. $55. And let me find a really nice. Oh, here's a nice one here. So we're going to put in this yellow six vein cat eye to go with that. But wait till you see it in the black light, guys. A Tabasco Top Works. Oh, nice, Steve. Thanks for that information, brother. And then one more time with the UV light, guys. The green, and then watch the marble. You ready? Look at that ice blue glow on that thing. So you got the green and the ice blue. 55 is what we're looking for on that. 55 start. Yeah, buddy. Having an auction? What are you doing? Sort of fine. I know, man. I know you had it rough for a while, Bill, with the Lyme disease and stuff. That's no joke. 
I have found a few ticks on me already this year, but I've been fortunate enough, even though I have been bit, I've been fortunate enough not to not to get the disease. My gosh. I know it's it's rampant out there with the ticks. Mom took it with her to see if it works in Frostburg. So don't change the chit station or nothing. Nobody can beat the deal you found today. A large Mrs. Butterworth empty bottle with no cap at a flea market for $150. Dang, g -less. I didn't dig that one, Bill, but it was Doug. It is a Doug bottle. Actually by one of my YouTube subscribers. I've had it in my collection for a couple years now. And now I'm offering it up to you guys. <laughs> I can believe it. I can believe it. And that's what I'm talking about, you know, as as bottles become switch over from vintage to antique and you know, they make laws about memorabilia, certain memorabilia that represents Why does it smell like, like African Americans, for instance. You can't it's it's banned a lot of times, it's banned from sales, so all that does is drive the value up on things. So yeah, guys, antiques are just going up, up, up. Had to do a roof inspection about an hour from your town. So naturally, you crawled the house and found three killer sodas. Nice, Jake. Heck yeah, buddy. That's awesome. Good deal, good deal. Anybody interested, I'll drop that one down to $50. $50 start on the pistol, whiskey nip, and the really nice yellow six-vein cat-eye marble. Yeah, buddy. Why? Boxing and soccer. Boxing and soccer? They have that at your school? No. Oh. Yeah, I think you do have soccer at your school, buddy. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and pull the pistol out of there. We can bring it back out a little bit later here. Let's do a really nice honey amber medicine bottle. These are really cool. Check this out, guys. Otis Clap and Son Incorporated. Beautiful honey amber. Look at the color on that thing. Woo! This is a blown and mold tooled cork top medicine bottle. Nothing on the base, nothing on the reverse. Very, very clean. I'll leave the uh, cat eye in there with it, guys. And this one is going to be a $25, $25 start. Again, 1890s to about 1905. Honey Amber, Otis, Clap, and Son. Yeah, buddy. Why? Well, who are you going to do it for? I know the marble reacts. Usually amber does not, though, but we'll try it out for you and see. I have been surprised in the past. You can see the ice blue, the marble. Maybe just a just a very, very light hint of, of green, but, yeah, not too, too much special going on there in the UV. 
That's a nice bottle, though. That one looks the best with the sunlight background, like in a window seal. Somewhere where the sun comes shining through the back part of it. Twenty five start on the Otis Clap and Sun, Honey Amber Med, and the Six Vein Yellow Cat Eye Marble. Andrea's in at 25. Thank you, sister lady. 25 looking for 26, guys. 25 looking for 26. No damage. This is a really nice honey amber medicine bottle. And a sweet marble that glows ice blue in the black light. 25 looking for 26. Twenty-five, looking for twenty-six, please. And the honey amber lotus and clap some. Oh yeah, you're in the wrong part, David. The memberships, guys. I mean, I really do appreciate the memberships. But they don't really have anything to do with the auctions at the moment. The registration process. You don't have to become a member. I scared you, Julia. <laughs> I'm sorry. But David. So check it out, buddy. I'll zoom out for a second. That email on the back wall. That's our business email. Auction only at crickdiggers.com. You just got to send your PayPal email, a $1 verification. That's also the PayPal that we now use for the business. And that's it. Your mailing address, your PayPal email, and the $1 verification. Once you've done that, you're good to bid. 25 looking for 26 anybody else on the otis clap and sun medicine bottle honey amber yeah, I don't want to put them on. you got headphones on you didn't know what was happening <laughs> I know, it's got really nice cursive script on it, and the color on that thing is just nice, just beautiful. Light honey amber. In the sunlight, it looks even more magnificent. No, Andrea, I gotta wait for the wife to get back. She's got all that set up on her phone. Soon as she gets back with the uh, daughter and her girlfriend, we will start the waffle and we'll jump to number two as well. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> what the heck, Trav? What was that? It was a woman screaming. That wasn't on your phone? No. Or that wasn't on your tablet? No. Go make sure mom's all right. Out in the driveway or something. Hurry up. That was weird, guys. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but right after I did the Twilight Zone music, there was literally a woman screaming. Let me make sure everything's okay real quick.
Trev. I don't think it was an animal, Pam. Did you guys hear it? Did you guys hear it in the mic by chance? Yeah. Is mom gone? Yeah. You hear anything else? No. Wasn't that weird, son? Yeah, and it stinks out there. It smells like straight stink bug. <laughs> like straight stink bug? It's Bobcats do scream. You're right, Bill. I don't know, guys. No, not no bobcat scream. I know what a bobcat scream is. Yep. All right, guys. Ten seconds left to bid on the Otis clap and son. Twenty six or higher. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Andrea. Twenty five. Great pickup, sister ladies. Are you, um, um, <laughs> what's his name? Um, Groot? Are you Groot? I don't know. Emma? Is that who? Amazon, A M A Z O N, son. Nice pickup, sister lady. Andrea rocking it out tonight, guys. All right. Next up, we're breaking out the big doggos. Breaking out the big doggos, guys. Look at here, look at here. We got the apple green. Apple Green, Dr. Townsend, Sarsaparilla. Look at that. It's got a 27 on the base. It is blown in mold, tooled cork top. From Albany, New York. You heard it, David? You went back and listened? wonder what the heck it was, man. It's got a real cool pinch mark right there on the base, guys. No damage on this thing either. Look at the color on that. Absolute smoker. I've got this one on my Etsy page, I think, for $275 or $250 maybe. I'm going to drop it down tonight, guys, for $200. Bucks. 200 smackaroos for this absolutely incredible... Dr. Townsend Sarsaparilla from Albany, New York. It's got a really cool white piece of carbon trapped in it. I'll point out when it spins around again. 1880s, 1890s. No damage. Killer color on that one. Right there at the bottom of the A. It's got a white piece of carbon trapped in the glass. It's got some awesome wing bubbles. Just a beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. $200 start on that one, guys. Yeah, buddy. I'm sorry, Chad, bud. I don't really want you on the internet while I'm on the internet. Ooh, <clears throat> there's the timer for giveaway number two, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Giveaway number two right after this. Anybody interested in the green Dr. Townsend's? It could be a waffle, Jake. I figured I'd offer it up for bidding first. The wife had said something about waffling it too. So we may do it as a waffle.
Dad. Yeah, buddy. What other app is I can find that? Pam said, happy, happy early birthday, sweet Travis Jr. His, bir his actual birthday that he turned 12 was the 13th. It's the 16th. So we're just celebrating his party next weekend at, at Starlight. I invited everybody too, Trev. Everybody. Everybody? Yep. The <laughs> whole world. <laughs> Starlight, 7.30, next Friday. Oh, I think chaos. Chaos. Watching Trav getting pushed around in the giant skate. <laughs> I'm not getting I got unmonetized when I made Nautica's video of her doing that on her birthday. Then I'm not getting Oh, no, look. Jake said the boy can drive heavy machinery already. <laughs> Yeah, he learned before his daddy. Then I want to get him All right, we're going to pull the Dr. Townsend's. Looks like I just got a $1 verification. What? Chad, hand me one of them bottles in that box. I can't see them. Careful. I'm going to bring it here. It's a giveaway. Oh, it is the giveaway. Go grab me a giveaway bottle real quick. Out of one of them Doug boxes in there. You should be able to tell. Yeah. Just grab me a bottle, son. Open a box up. Son, what are you doing? That's a four hundred dollar historical flask. That's not gonna be a giveaway. You turdo. No, sir. Come on, buddy, Trev. Hold on, guys. I'm going to help Trev. He's not doing a good job right now. You can't get anything out of him. Turn that fan on, Travis. It's getting hot in here. Sorry, guys. I was having a difficult time. No, you what? And you know, you know what's what. You actually know. You do. Till, till I saw the baby portal, I was like, that's my dad's office. I know that that's the museum. All right, giveaway number two is going to be an amber Vaseline Chessie Bro. Amber Vaseline Chessie Bro. Right there, giveaway number two. We have, let's say, 60 people. Let me grab something else, too. Ted. What? Um, look at the fan. You got it a little too high. They're in different modes of the fan. We'll also do a cool little IV or morphine syringe bottle. 
And this is by the TCW Company, which is the old Thomas Wheaton Company. This is a Wheaton bottle, but TCW, Thomas Wheaton, actually started bottling in 1880s. So, a little bit of uh, facts for you guys there. And I'm going to throw in, you don't need to be that fast. Turn it down, yes. And we're going to put in a Widow Marble as well. Good choice, Trav Jr. <laughs> yeah. On the historical flask for giveaway, I bet. I bet you guys would say that. Yeah, I saw. I didn't know. Okay, yeah. hold on one second here. That was number nine. Giveaway number one. Steve Coppin. And giveaway number two. We're gonna, we're gonna do a number between one and sixty. Okay, buddy. Good job. I'm gonna attempt to do this one myself, guys. The wifey's not here to help. So I got the number. I'm putting it back behind the turntable. Hey, you, you gotta just watch it on this TV screen. David, I think so. I saw your $1 go through, buddy. But I can't check the email right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that, yeah, you are good to bid, though, if you'd like to. Yeah, For those of you watching the auction, you do not have to register to participate in the giveaways. You just have to be present at the time of the giveaway, which is right now. So I'm going to count down from five, and we're going to guess a number between one and 60. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start guessing a number between one and 60. Here we go. Numbers are flying in. Nobody's hit it yet, though, guys. Oh, I think I saw it. <clears throat> Nope, I didn't see it. Keep going. You see it? There it is. Ceasefire, ceasefire, ceasefire. Looks like David Urban Sasquatch. <clears throat> Here was the number, guys. Number 37. Let me know if I messed up, but I think it was Urban Sasquatch first. Oh, uh, yeah. 37. That's the guy that I was looking at. I thought you said Ben Sasquatch. No, I said David. Urban Sasquatch. Oh, his name David? Yep. David was the winner of the giveaway number two. I, I, thought, I thought his first name Nice, was brother, man. I thought it said Urban. It did. It said Urban Sasquatch. Yeah, because like I was going through it and then... I just know most of them by their name, Trev. I didn't know his name was David. That's why I said no. He went digging with me today. Huh. Yeah, that's why I said no. I didn't know his name was Urban. Oh. Well, not Urban. <laughs> Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Odin. You've done good. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought his name was Under. Under Sasquatch. <laughs> that guy, that, that Under came, Sasquatch. That, that came out the wrong way. <laughs> that, that came out the wrong way. Jeez. 
Instagram, you're funny. Yeah. Oh, I did. I dug a really cool mason jar today, guys. I'll need some help with. I can help you. It says, um, Ohio quality mason. It's like a light mint green mason jar. <clears throat> Ohio quality mason is what it says on it. <clears throat> All right, guys, from the dairy dig to, um, video. We have a one pint Llewellyn Brothers. Llewellyn Brothers Incorporated pasteurized milk. This is out of Midland, Maryland. It says sealed pasteurized milk. It's got like a like a scratch on it, but no no real like heavy damage. Bottom post mold or suction mold. Got a rib neck it says sealed 51. It's got a UCP, UCP. I'm not familiar with that, but you can see how it has like a pinkish, peach kind of look to it. There you guys go. One pint, Lou Ellen Brothers from the Dairy Dig video last week. The sticker is down inside of it. The wife could, was not able to get it out, I guess. Wait, just show me on the... But on that one, guys, we're going to do a $15 start. I see. $15 start on the Llewellyn Brothers. And we're going to throw in a cockatiel marble to go with it. There you guys go. Yeah, after that, then just give me the bottom and I'll get the sticker. Okay, buddy. Scott's in at 15, right before you, Jake, brother, looking for 16. There you go, buddy, Chad. Jake's in at 20, looking for 21. <clears throat> 20, looking for 21. This is the one pint Llewellyn Brothers. Yep. <laughs> Just dug in the dairy milk bottle video. 21 or higher. Scott's in at 21, looking for 22. Twenty-two with Jake. Thank you, brother. Twenty-two looking for twenty-three. Scott's in at twenty-five looking for twenty-six. Twenty-five looking for twenty-six. Twenty-six looking for twenty-seven. Twenty-six looking for twenty-seven. <laughs> Twenty six looking for twenty seven. I haven't seen Fred tonight. Twenty seven or higher on the one pint. Steve, those actually, um, Russ and Tiffany got both of the Rockwood Farms. They got the court and the half pint in the pick. Twenty six looking for twenty seven, guys. It was the pick was between me, Russ, and JC. All the bottles that we found. So it was a really, really good take for everybody. Everybody got some really nice rare milk bottles. 
Scott's in at 28. 28 looking for 29. Yeah, how do you spell soccer? 28 looking for 29. 28 looking for 29. Yeah, how do you spell soccer? S O R? S O R is soccer. <laughs> No, S O C C. Jake's in at 30, looking for 31. Yep, Fred's busy moving. Scott is out. We're going to go to last call, guys. You got 10 seconds to bid. 30, looking for 31. 10 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, one sold to my brother man Jake at thirty dollars. Swarty's Garage, nice pickup, my brother. On the Llewellyn Piner. And the cockatiel marble to go with it. Yes, sir. Your marble bag here. What happened? You alright? Are you sneezing? No. What is it? What is that? I'm looking at soccer stuff. Oh, soccer and stuff. Let me show you what I just found. It's the most poofiest thing ever. It is? Look. <laughs> Who would wear that at a soccer game? Official FIFA soccer Afro wig from 2010 games. Yep. A lot of people probably would wear that, buddy, Trev. In a soccer game? <clears throat> yep. That is crazy. A court. <clears throat> oh, a court AC Ogden. Yeah, Steve. I remember that bottle, buddy. With the cow heads on it. Cow heads. Yes, sir. All right, guys, next up, now we're getting into the good stuff. Now we're getting into the good stuff, guys. This is another milk from the Dairy Dig. Now, I ended up with two of these. The best one has already been picked up by a private collector. But here we go. Check it out. We got a one-quart, one-quart I.M. Browning. Raw tuberculin tested milk, Cumberland, Maryland. One quart I am browning. Nothing on the base. Got a 28 on the base. Says sealed 48. Unfortunately, it does have a flash in the back of the neck right there. You can see it does have a flash. So for that reason... I am going to start this one out at $30. $30 start on the very scarce I am Browning from Cumberland, Maryland. And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything seems to be broken I just want you to know who I am Yeah, this is the only browning for tonight, my brother. $30 start, guys. I don't think it glows, but we'll try it out and see. What the heck did I do with the black light? Huh? Do you know where it's at, Trev? Did your mama take it?
Look over there when she where she was looking at marbles and stuff and see if you see it. Because I do not see it. Tyler's in at 30. Thank you, brother, man. 30, looking for 31. 30, looking for 31. Here it is. I found it. 30, looking for 31. Son, can you flip this light off for a second? I can't reach it right now. Actually, yeah, I can. I got it. Yeah, this one does not. See how it has a pink glow, Andrea? That's what you call selenium. So this particular milk bottle is actually made with selenium instead of manganese. It's got a beautiful pink glow in the black light. Wait, Dad, keep the light off and see how good it looks. No, I don't. Turn the light back on. Hey, thank you, Isabel. That was really special with the Grow West owner and CEO there at one of the digs. That was incredible. 30 looking for 31 on the IM Browning Cumberland, Maryland, one quart milk bottle, guys. Yeah, the site's actually already cleared out, Isabel. And yes, they are expanding on that site. There's going to be another dispensary right there. Okay, buddy. I need that. 30 looking for 31. I am browning. So Eat, sleep, One quart. That is. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, no, Matt. They were so cool about it. I tried to get him involved, like, on the actual dig, but, nah, dude didn't want to get down in the hole at all. <laughs> he was... He was perfectly content standing upside, topside, watching. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm not seeing any more interest in the I am browning milk. So we're going to go to last call. I don't know what I am stands for. No, ma'am. Here we go, guys. I'm browning. <laughs> Last call, 10 seconds to bid. 31 or higher. Here we go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold to my brother, man, Tyler. Tyler, brother, you got that for 30 bucks. Very nice pickup. Very nice pickup indeed. Tyler on the I am Browning. Okay, guys, next up, we got a nice little half pint. Half pint Llewellyn Brothers. Check that one out. Rib neck. No damage. Cleaned up real nice. Says half pint liquid registered on the back of it. From the Dairy Dig. Again, out of Midland, Maryland. Half pinter. $15 start. $15 start. And I'm going to throw in one of my widow marbles with this one. One of my real pretty widow marbles. And they react real nice in the black light, too. Scott's in at 15. Thank you, brother man. 15 looking for 16. <laughs> Fifteen looking for sixteen. That is a nice one, yes sir. Half pint Llewellyn. Yeah, buddy. Dang, that dude was flying. 
15 looking for 16 on the half pint Llewellyn Brothers. Yeah, these are really cool out of Midland, Maryland. Little half pinter. <clears throat> From the Dairy Dig. From the special Dairy Dig video. Might be Irvin M. Browning out of Allegheny Grove. It could be Irvin. That's a really good suggestion, Jake. Good morning, Violet! Rumpelstiltskin here. <laughs> Violet's in at 17, looking for 18. 17, looking for 18. For her, it's morning. She just woke up. It's you do that sometimes, Trav. You stay up all night long and sleep and sleep and sleep till the sun goes down. And then you wake up. That's your morning. <laughs> Russell, what's up, my brother, man? Russell in the house, guys. $18 and higher. Why is that at 17 Scott's in at 20 looking for 21 20 looking for 21 on the half pint Llewellyn. Half pint Llewellyn Brothers and the Widow Marble. And Tiffany, too. Yay! Brother man and sister lady, little loads in the house. Good morning, Rumple. <laughs> 21 looking, or 20 looking for 21. 21 or higher. What'd you find? What in the world, son? There's no way. They're just a game soccer for 2,600. I'm looking for 21. 20 looking for 21, please. <laughs> Sister, cousin, Pammy. Violet's in at 21, looking for 22. 21 looking for 22. I got a real nice Western Port milk tonight, too, guys. Rare dog. Uh, Scott's in at 22. 22 looking for 23. We got Violet with 23 looking for 24. 24 or higher, please. looking for 26 Violet is out thank you sister lady 26 dollars and higher 26 or higher guys last call you got 10 seconds to bid come on guys I'm 5 4 3 2 1 sold to oh, brother man Scott yeah, at 25 Got it, 25. Nice pickup, brother. What I do on my afternoons, I eat, sleep, suck, or repeat. You're a strange, oh, son. Here. Brother, brother. Yeah. All right. 
right. There we go for Scott. Pot calling the kettle black there, Trav. What? <laughs> Okay, guys, check it out. Are you ready for a big dog? Uh, ready for what? Look at here, look at here. This is a one pint sanitary dairy incorporated from Western Port, Maryland. This is a rare doggo right here, guys. One pint. It's got a P on the base of it. Two P's, actually. P-P. <laughs> there it is, guys. Cleaned up really, really nice. Oh, my God. No damage. Look at that bad boy right there from the Dairy Dig. Offering it up to you guys right there. Sanitary Dairy Incorporated, Western Port, Maryland. The Superman of Milks. Yes, ma'am. This one's going to be a $100 start, guys. Oh, my goodness. One hundo. I'm $104. $100 start on the Western Port, Maryland milk. See if I can get that thing level. There we go. That's better. <laughs> yep, still doing the museum, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm sure about that. Let me let me fix my camera here. What's going on? Somehow it got crooked on me. I think it's good. There we go. $100 start on the Western Port, Maryland milk bottle. Sanitary Dairy Incorporated. Yeah, there, there's also a Sanitary Dairy... From Cumberland as well, but this particular one is Western Port, Western Port, Maryland. Much, much rarer than the sanitary dairy from Cumberland. Tough, tough milk bottle right here, guys. First time it's being offered up. Little tiny town, too. Western Port, Maryland. One hundo. One hundo. Hey, Dad. Yeah, buddy. I have an answer. Because at the time, it was the furthest west that you could go, that you could travel, before the terrain became basically unnavigable. I believe I'm right on that, Russell. Correct me if I'm incorrect. But it was the westernmost port at the time. Is that right, my brother? On the Potomac, yes, sir. Yep, on the Potomac. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know there was different fan speeds till now. You didn't know there was different fan speeds, you weirdo. No, I didn't know there was different fan speeds. 
<laughs> All right, guys, we're going to hang on to that one <clears throat> a little bit longer, it looks like. Move that laptop, buddy. Next up, we have another milk that was from the Dairy Dig. This is an Eldridge. You can see it's got the E inside of a slug plate, completely ribbed all the way around. And it says Eldridge Dairy Company with the nice E on the base. Now, from what I found out, I think these may possibly be from Hagerstown. But this particular variant, I can't really find. So I'm not sure exactly where that one's from, guys. But it did clean up real nice. This is a one-pint ribbed milk bottle. And this one's going to be... This one I'll do a $20 start on. And we're going to throw in like a mustard and opaque marble to go with it. $20 start. On the ribbed Eldridge milk bottle, one pint. Eldridge Dairy Company is what it says on it. $20 start. You got to get up early. Yep. Not real early, but I'm definitely going to get up early. Ever since I started working now, Russ, I do. My biological clock is reset. I usually get up like 6 o'clock. Even this morning, I was up at 6 o'clock. But why do you have to get up early? For work. I know, but my body's used to getting up now for work. Just like you are used to getting up for school. So you still get up even on non-school days early. When does the rest reset? Huh? Yeah. What in the world? Yeah. Huh. Can you All right, I'm gonna pull the Eldridge guys. No interest in the Eldridge. No, stop asking me about buying stuff during the auction. You know better. Take us. Take us box. Sit it beside it. I'm missing some stuff. I need. Oh, I forgot about the ink. Or no, that's not an ink. I got a really cool figure, guys. Actually, I've had this in my personal collection now for a while. But you guys are going to really enjoy this one, I think. It's so awesome. Check this out. <laughs> It is a pig figural. It's either a cologne or a whiskey. And look here, it says C.F. Knapp, Philadelphia. It's got the original cork in it. It is a blown in mold, tooled cork top, and it still has the contents inside the little pig. Look at that thing right there, guys. Whiskey pig, yep. Whiskey Pig, look at that. Isn't that wild looking? With the content still, too. 
C.F. Knapp from Philadelphia. I believe that one's 1890s. And that thing is nice. This one is going to be a $70 start. $70 start. Let's go ahead and hit it with the black light, too. See what we got going on. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's like glacier water inside of that thing, guys. It does glow green, and the contents are like an ice blue. Look at that. And the marble has a really neat glow, too, as well. A pig figure of whiskey, C.F. Knapp out of Philadelphia, PA. That's a cool one. Complete with cork and contents. Old throws in at 70. Thank you, brother man. 70 looking for 72. 70 looking for 72. I just put your last two hutches in the tumbler tonight, John. So they should be done here in another week, week and a half. Yeah. Will I drink the contents? I will not. Absolutely not. They do not look very edible. I, I guess they were, though. Yeah, I just did 50 sit-ups. 50 sit-ups? Nice try, bud. I just 50 today's I'm going to start trying to do 50 every day. 70 looking for 72. 1890s on that one, Violet. I uh, know, isn't that a strange looking whiskey? Okay. And it is embossed CF Knapp from Philadelphia. Yeah. Man, what a buzz. <laughs> Violet's in at 74, <laughs> 76 or higher. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start trying to do 50 sit-ups every day. All right, buddy. I need to get my six-pack back. Old throws in at 76, looking for 78. 76, looking for 78. Did you hear me? Uh-huh. Six-pack back. Six pack back. Yeah. Oh, Mom's talking in Frostburg, bud. That's so cool. Hey, what? See if she's there. Violet's in at 81, looking for 83. 81, looking for 83. <laughs> Old throws in at 83, looking for 85. Perfume that smells like swine. <laughs> Eighty-three, looking for eighty-five. Yeah, she's back at the house. Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was in Frostburg talking on the radio. Yeah. Eighty-three, looking for eighty-five. Pig is pushing out one. I <laughs> know, Jake. It does look like that, doesn't it? Violet's in at 87. 87 looking for 89. 87 looking for 89. Old throws in at 91. 91 looking for 93. Can't smell good coming out that end. <laughs> 91 looking for 93 on the CF Nap. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Pig whiskey nip. Full with contents.
93 or higher. Violet's in it. 94 looking for 96. 18. Old throws out. Thank you, brother man. Last call, guys. 10 seconds to bid on the CF Nat Pig Whiskey. 96 or higher. In five, in five four, three, two, one. Sold to Violet at 94. <laughs> nice pickup, Violet. Dad. That was in pig talk. I just did 30 more sit-ups. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you, buddy. 30 more? Don't overdo it. Your abs will freaking hurt real bad, and you won't be able to even move tomorrow. I know, but I have to make up my... 50 that I didn't do yesterday. I need, I need to make up my 50 I didn't do yesterday. I gotta do my 50 yesterday. I did 50 a couple minutes ago and I just did 30 more. Okay, son. So in total that's 80. I need to do 20 more. 20 more sit-ups. Okay, son. All right, guys. Let me see what else is hiding down in here. Hey, you gotta get your gym pass back. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Can you get that gym pass back? I'm going to offer up the pistol whiskey again, guys. Check it out. Trying to figure out how to get this thing to sit up against the back wall better. There we go. There you guys go. Pistol whiskey nip. It is a SCA. It will turn nice and amethyst in the black or in the sunlight if you leave it out in the sunlight. And. We're going to throw in this really nice sky blue and white swirl marble to go with it. There you guys go. And I think it was a 50 start on the pistol whiskey. $50 start. It could be a candy container, David, but I think it's a whiskey. Yeah, we sold the candy containers before, and it's... The candy containers are a little bit different. It could be a candy container, though. I'm not certain on that one, brother. You know a pod? Weakness for little piggies. <laughs> $50 start on the whiskey or the candy container drop pistol. 45. Drop it to 45. I need a wheel set up with eight slots on it, baby girl. Okay. I couldn't hear you on the radio. I know. I said I don't think anybody can hear me. No, I think he was just out of range. And I think we're going to end up doing a waffle on the town's end. So I put it up for 200 And nobody was interested in it. But did people did say something about a waffle. Okay.
One second, guys, and then we'll do the waffle for the Stoddard whiskey. 45, anybody interested on the pistol candy container or whiskey? 45 start. Yep, eight slots, baby girl. Dang, buddy, Trev. You're going to be feeling that tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and pull that, guys. We're going to pull that one out of there. That one's so... How about the capers, babe? Oh, never mind. You got it on there. Sorry. Okay, guys, next up, we have a really pretty emerald green capers. This is a machine-made screw top. It's got an R inside of a triangle there on the base of it. No damage. We'll leave that marble in there with it. And this one's going to be a $20 start. $20 start. Right around late, late 1920s, early 30s on this one, guys. The height on this one, Violet, is eight and a quarter inches. Eight and a quarter inches. $20 start. The wheel is ready. <laughs> Violet's in at 21. Thank you, sister lady. Looking for 22. 21 looking for 22. Twenty one looking for twenty two on the emerald green capers bottle. Apple green, yeah, it's more of an apple green, you're right. Real pretty apple green capers bottle. And a sweet marble to go with it. Twenty two or higher. This will be number thirteen of the night. Number 13. Okay, guys, I'm not seeing any other bids. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one last call. You got 10 seconds to bid. 22 or higher. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Violet at 21. Violet at 21. All right, guys. Nice pickup, Vi. Nice.
nice chest. Officially 100. Okay, buddy. Make the 150 yesterday. Shh. 50 today. Stop. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and do the waffle drawing for this gorgeous Stoddard okay, whiskey. New bell. Yep, and we got a new bell, too. The wife he just picked up. And that really nice black and red marble, too. This was being done in eight slots, $10 each. Here are the eight slot numbers, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start. Whoever's number it lands on, whoever bought that slot is the winner. Here we go. Good luck to you. Number two. Number two, Josh Dondorf, buddy. Another waffle win in the books for that boy. Mr. Dondorf wins again with number two. Great day in the morning. He's a lucky. Good night. Joshua. Nice pickup, brother. Did you ring the bell? I didn't. Which yeah. one is it? The green one? <laughs> nice, Josh. <laughs> Josh, you were. There it is, guys. Just in time for giveaway number three. Just in time for giveaway number three. We got 50 people currently in the room. I'm gonna grab something out of here. Whitehall Tatum perfume bottle. We're gonna put in there for giveaway number three. And also, a little druggist bottle with the Bakelite lid on it. We'll also put that one in there. And we'll put one of my cockatiel marbles in there. That's going to be giveaway number three, guys, right there. Looks like 50 people's in the room. So I'm going to put down a number between 150 Okay, I got my number. Put a line under it. I did. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sorry. I just now that that's what I did. It's not the end of the world. They get a new number. Stop shaking your head at me in disapproval. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm putting the number behind the turntable for the second time. And we're going to guess after five. We're going to guess the number between one and 50. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start guessing the number between one and 50. And they're off. Here we go. Mm. 
ceasefire, ceasefire. Mr. Wild Bill Collectibles. You are the winner of giveaway number three, my brother. Oh, shoot. That's the wrong number. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Let me see if anybody hit the right no, one. No, nobody's hit it. I was like, are you sure? Sheesh. I screwed up on that one. So the first one that puts it out there. <laughs> Robert Parmeter. <laughs> you are the winner, buddy. My fault on that one, guys. I gave that one away. Robert was the first one paying attention. <laughs> Robert P. Giveaway number Good three. It's messed up on me. <laughs> That's why you let me call out. The Dang, Nabbit. I messed up my own number. Good gosh. That's not true, guys. I had the first number right <laughs> marked down. She's like, put a line under it. As if nobody knows what that means. <laughs> I did. And then I realized after I said it. Dodo head. Okay. I think we don't have anything else. Hmm? We don't have nothing else. That's it. So You're going to do this, this the waffle on the... Did you put the milks up? Mm-hmm. Sure did. The only ones that didn't sell was the sanitary and the Myersdale one. The other one's all sold already. Okay. Are you going to do start the waffle for the sarsaparilla? Robert. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do the green, apple green sarsaparilla. We're gonna we're gonna transform this one into a super syrupy waffle for you guys. We're gonna do this one in waffle format. Twenty-five. That's what I was thinking too. We're gonna do this one in twenty-five slots at ten dollars each, guys. Twenty-five slots at ten dollars each. On the green Dr. Townsend sarsaparilla. This is going to be done waffle format. And slots are now available for purchasing. Hey, I want to know too if they're Tara and Pam and Swamp Fox. <laughs> want to know what? When they're coming up. Maybe we can go have coffee. I want coffee? No, Travis says I want coffee. Walking right, I'm walking right at the perfect time. Where's the coffee? Anybody want a slot on the sarsaparilla? Hey, where buys me coffee? <laughs> okay. Winner buys me coffee. Chubby. No, I'm not. Anybody want a slot? <laughs> Pam, I want to see you at the, the party. You live up here. <laughs> Fort Hill Homecoming. A true home. giveaway. <laughs> yeah, it was. 25 slots, guys. $10 each. Slots are now available for purchasing. On the apple green Dr. Townsend sarsaparilla out of Albany, New York. Anybody that's coming for my birthday, um, no, I don't what was you getting ready to say? No. I was going to say, anybody that comes for my birthday, bring me a French vanilla. <laughs> Bring me a French vanilla cappuccino 
with two French vanilla creamers and Where's the um grape figure at? Is it still in there? I don't know. Go get that off the table, Trav, and a the grape of figure. Vanilla creamer. Go get the grape figure. The thing of grapes, please. It looks like a thing of grapes. I'm not seeing any interest at all in the Dr. Townsend's. Cross off the two French vanilla creamer with pumpkin spice. Here you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull that one, guys. <gasps> it's in there. It don't go in there. And there's no other slot. It goes in there on the table. It's ready to be wrapped. All of this needs to be wrapped. I'll take them in there. Take the whole box, honey. I cannot. Trav, take this box in the packing room, please. They're all full, babe. All right, guys. Next up, out of my personal collection, we have another figural... Either a whiskey or a perfume. This is grapes, a grape cluster. You can see there, really nice blown in mold. Still has a little bit of the lead label affixed to the neck. Just an awesome figure that I picked up from a bottle show a couple years ago. There it is, guys. Look at that bad boy. Hmm. Okay. What's the smell? Oh, check the pizza. Let's go ahead and see what kind of black light reaction we get with this one on. Actually, we don't get a black light reaction with this one on, guys. No glow on that one. No glow. It is a pretty cluster of grapes, though. Grape whiskey. Grape whiskey nip. That's a whiskey? I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, something does smell good. You're right. Mmm, it smells real good. Okay, son, I'm really glad for you. Guys, on the great whiskey nip, this one's going to be a $60 start. $60 start. Definitely not a bottle that you see very often. $60 on the Grape Cluster Whiskey Nip. I'm going to grab another box of milk bottles, guys, while you're checking that thing out.
Kara, she's going to finish it up. You can put this up. I'm going to drop the price to 100 Okay, baby. I'll get your Did anybody over. bid on the grapes? Not that I've been able to see. No. I, I was cutting the pizza. No bids on the grapes. We're going to go ahead and pull those guys. Okay, guys. Bird Cage Inkwell. Bird Cage Inkwell. Look at this. Really, really nice. Tell it while it's drab. <laughs> Sheared lip. Light, light aqua in color. That thing is awesome. Birdhouse or birdcage inkwell and then a peach. Really nice peach marble to go with it there. And this one is going to be a $100 start. Hundred dollar start on the bird house or bird cage ink. No glow on the ink, but wait till the marble comes back around, guys. It glows really nice, bright orange. Look at that. Real nice bright orange glow. Beautiful. No damage. Hundred dollar start. Hundred dollar start on the birdhouse bird cage inkwell. Anybody interested in that one? Time is it, baby? Ten. Well, that ain't very late. $100 start, guys, on the bird house or bird cage inkwell. No damage and a sweet peach marble to go with it. Is there any polos left in the house? Marco. What kind of pizza is that, baby? Thank you, my love. Anybody interested in the birdhouse? Inkwell. Hmm? Everybody's gone? No, we got 50 people in the room, honey. They just don't want a birdhouse inkwell. Yeah. The one out here, the last one we sold on here went for over 200. Yep. You don't find them too often. Definitely not an easy item to get your hands on. I think Christina Lacey was the one that won the other one. I think so too. I think you're going to keep it. You're going to keep that one, little honey. Hello! Mm -hmm. I'm here. How about a one quart Myersdale VB Myersdale, <laughs> Pennsylvania?
One quart Myersdale, guys. $12 start on that one. No damage. Not very often, Jake. I can count on one hand how many North Carolina stuff I've seen, Doug, from this area. No, not. Oh, yeah. Mm. What happened? Twelve dollars start on the one court. Myersdale Dairy. Myersdale, PA. That's some good pizza. There's Warno. It's very good. Very good. Travis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it, baby. I think everybody's been going to bed on us. I told you. Well, this one's for 15 Yep. 12 12 $12. Dollars. Twelve dollars start on the Myersdale. Dark. Oh, guys, so guess what? Our poor little Spikey went to the big fish pond in the sky. $12 start on the Myersdale Dairy. One quart <laughs> milk bottle. He's, he's finally left us. Eleven o'clock in real time, not... I know uh, you're right on that, Violet. It is still kind of all of us are lagged out. It's like a life lag. A a worldly lag going on. Everybody's got an hour lag going. <laughs> Yeah, we still got 51, brother. Absolutely. All right, we're going to pass on the Myersdale. Trying to keep you guys entertained up. I already sold it, babe. Robert Smith? What was that? A cup? Where's it at? You confiscated it. I did? I think it's by your feet. Huh? Tyler, yes. We'll do 13. <laughs> Put the milk back up there. No, I'm just going to give it to him for 13. You got it. 13, buddy. It's yours. Absolutely. One Court Myersdale Who going you think, to Tyler. David? I'll give you one guess. What? Who won the waffle? I'll give you one <laughs> guess. One guess to you is all you get. I bet you get it right. <laughs> he has got the golden horseshoe, I tell you. Man, yeah, he does. It turned up. 
It was Tyler. Somewhere in here, nope. I got a bag for you, buddy. Yeah, how did you get this from? <laughs> Josh? Josh Dondorf. <laughs> he got it on the second <laughs> Yep. He's a lucky son of a gun. Yeah, I'll just change his name to Mr. Waffle. <laughs> Mr. Waffle. How about a half pint Eldridge Dairy? Half pint Eldridge Dairy, guys. There you go. That one's going to be a $15 start. Half pint Eldridge, no damage from the Dairy Dig video. Yes, we love Josh. And we're going to put in this little tiny blue marble. If I can get my fingers on it. Dang it. I can't get my fingers on it. So instead... I'm going to put in this orange and red with a little brown. Pretty marble. <laughs> can't, can't hold on to it. Can't win any other one. Possibly from Hagerstown, Violet. From what I'm being told, they think it's from Hagerstown, but this particular variant is different than the Hagerstown one. So it could be Hagerstown. $15 start. No damage. Eldridge half pint. Violet's in at 17. Thank you, sister lady. 17 looking for 18. This is number 15 of the night. This is a ribbed half pint. Sorry, baby girl. What happened to the packing crew? I don't know. They're just going to wait till tomorrow? Well, Monica fell. When? When she was outside playing. And she fell on her skateboard. Right? Yeah, there you go. I put the bigger one up earlier and it, pa it got passed on. 18 or higher. 18 or higher. Half pint Eldridge Dairy. From the Dairy Dig video. Did the, did the teal thing sell? What teal thing? The perfumer. Uh-huh. Yep. Half pint Eldridge Dairy, eighteen or higher. Yes, I do dig on auction nights. Every Saturday and Sunday, I will be digging. That's my only digging days available it's now. Not, you dig after work all the time. I don't. Not when I work till dark, I don't. That was this week. That was all this week. Putting in them hours. I did get some good footage today, though. Some real good digging footage today. From the hospital dump. All right, guys, I ain't seen any more bids. I'm going to go to last call. You got 10 seconds to bid. 14 or higher. Sound like the last milkers in the barn. <laughs> Strap Jr. should always know. 
You could have named him Eldridge Wyatt. <laughs> Eldridge, Eldridge, come here, Eldridge. Eldridge. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Violet at 17. What are you? 17 to Violet. Paging Violet. Okay, number 16. Let's do some marbles. Let's do a marble lot, guys. Get your marble lot. Get your marble lot. Yep. What she said. We're going to put the frog up. Not included. Not included. But we're going to load it up full of marbles. So I'm just going to grab a handful out of my jar. See what we picked out here. Ooh, looks like we got a widow. We got quite a few cockatiels. Do not put all those in there. Another widow. Cockatiel. A yellow cat eye. A green and white patch. A blue four vein cat eye. And another cockatiel. What you got, baby? I'm not going with that lot. Oh, you're not? No. Okay, that's fine. Not with all those in there. I'll run them there. We got a Pepsi marble. Whoops. We got a Pepsi marble. Blue, white, and red. A real pretty green and white swirl. Kind of a salmon egg color, peach color marble. Blue and like a cream color patch. Because it's lagging. Oh. Put in another one of those Pepsi marbles. A little bit different there. Just a solid green. I guess whoever made them named them Cockatiel, Catherine. Um, I don't know. I guess because they have the colors, the different colors of maybe like a Cockatiel. This one is a kind of an, a yellow on white. And then one more for the middle. We're going to do this one right here. Real pretty green on white. There you go. Night Swamp, brother. You have a good night. So there you guys go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen marble lot. And we're gonna let you guys decide on it. Bitter's choice. Bitter's choice on the sixteen marble lot, guys, right there in front of you. And let's see how many of these bad boys glow in the black light. Oh, you thought it was my idea? No, that's the actual name of that marble. And the one that I say is a widow, the actual name of it is a ladybug. That's the actual name of the marble. And you can see here, there are some really cool UV reactions. There's a nice orange. The ones that are ladybugs you can see have a really cool reaction that one's got a real pretty green so yeah some of them do light up in the uv light there but there you go guys bitter's choice 16 marbles teresa's gonna start us at five I was just thinking about that. 
about you. Five looking for six. Bob, what's up, buddy? Good to have you. Five looking for six. I'm just thinking about her. Violet's in at 17. Thank you, sister lady. Gary's in at 35. 35 looking for 36. Also, guys, I think sometime next week we're going to do a Facebook Live auction. Catherine says, I have 15 cockatiels, but they are not round or quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, sister lady. I bet it is hey, noisy. Your house is noisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. But you probably wouldn't have it any other way. 35, looking for 36. Had a skateboard incident in the pod. It happens when you're trying to be Tony Hawk. <laughs> Slowed down pretty hard. Oh, girl. I was like, this and far into this like, whole room. And I looked back. And I was like, oh, I was watching her do good. We could like, go over the, like, the speed bump. She did good and everything. She thumbs up to me. And she was going to slow down. Because, like, Wyatt was down there with her. But, like, wasn't in front of her. And she was slowing down. Next thing you know, all I see is her flip. Almost land face first, but she flipped and landed straight on her shoulder. Uh, she slammed nah, really hard. Wow. Did you see. get gravel or something? Yeah. 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 Oh, gravel I'll do it to you. Then we went and played tag, and I think I concussed myself. Cause I ran oh, yeah, she ran head first into a pipe. Good golly, yeah, you know nah, how, like, you have the metal frames under the, under the Parts. playgrounds? Yeah. Okay, well, there's the big playground, there's a the little playground. Well, I went under the baby playground to go get after Pickle because I was it. And I ran under the baby <laughs> playground and was, like, crouching and running at the same time. Well, I didn't crouch enough. Violet says 39. 39 looking for 40. Everything. All of it. Both boxes. What about the ones with four right there? Yeah, those two. Everything, all of it's been sold. Sixteen Which so far. That was a oh, giveaway. Yeah, all right, guys. I'm not seeing any other bids. You got ten seconds to bid, forty or higher. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Violet at 39. Violet at 39. Yes, you do. You got any instructions for me? Bye-bye. And the wife's going to throw up the next marble out, Here's guys. Here's some marbles. Can you grab these? Yeah, I'll get the other ones. Oh, sorry. And put those in your bag here. There we go. Nine so far, baby girl. <clears throat> so you need seven more. Here is a pretty shooter. This one's going to be the wifey's lot, guys, coming up. So we got a watermelon, Marble King, green and red. 
We got a gorgeous, real pretty red, kind of a tannish butterscotch, clearish white. I believe that's a Phantom Conqueror. We got a really nice orange and yellow patch. Then we got a orange and yellow on white streaks. Then we have a six vein blue cat eye. We have a real, real pretty blue on red. Blue on red. We have a really nice German wire pull. Green, kind of a tealish green. We have a beautiful purple. Red and blue stripe streak streaka streaka. We got a nice reddish orange cherry marble there. And what else you got, baby? The shooters for the top. The shooters for the top. We got a real pretty teal four vein shooter cat eye in the middle. We got another blue on like a milky. Kind of base coat. We got a butterscotch with some green, some olive green mixed in there. Got a real pretty deep cobalt on white. Three more, baby. Got kind of like a silverish tan on kind of like an orangish red. Swirl color, pretty marble. Two more. Real nice red, red on white. And one more final for number 16. Okay. Kind of like a lemon. Like a lemon on white. There you go. You collect flower frogs? I've got a really neat figural flower frog, Catherine. I love that thing. But there you guys go. 16 marbles. What are you going to do on them, honey? I'll let them decide. Bitter's choice again, guys. Bitter's choice again, and... Ooh, there's a nice orange glower. Another one. Big, big green glower right there. Look at the colors, guys. The wifey picked out some nice glowers, too. Bitter's Choice. There's a purple glower. Green, red, orange. All kinds of really neat UV reactive marbles. Look at all them beauties. And you guys have the power. You start out wherever you'd like to on those. 16 marble combo. Looks nice with the little... Teresa's in at five, looking for six. Five, looking for six. Sorry, Thomas is in at 20. Thank you, brother. 20, looking for 21. Teresa's in at 21, looking for 22. Thomas is in at 25, looking for 26. Gary Lindblad says 50. $50, looking for 52. 50, looking for 52. Brother man, Gary. Thomas is out. Appreciate you, brother. Teresa is out. Anybody else? 52 or higher. All right, guys. Last call. You got 10 seconds to bid. 52 or higher. In five. Four, 
three, two, one. Sold to brother man Gary. Gary. Gary at 50. Thank you, Gary. That definitely deserves a song. You, <laughs> you picked me one out, brother. Oh, well, that doesn't work because you don't usually know half the songs. I know it, but he's the lyric man, so <laughs> he'll be able to help me out. They wrote down, I cut. And what did you write that down as? What? I wrote that down as the Colgate perfume, or smelling salts. And it went to Julia Ravlin. And the I cup went to Andrea. You're welcome. So Gary got the 16 marble combo. So what does that, what number is that? That puts us at number 18, baby. Did you want to do another one? Another marble combo? Yeah. Yeah, let's do another marble yeah, combo. Ooh, and a Uper light too. We're going to do a little mix this time, guys. No, it's good. Just do a Uper light and then the marble combo. Oh, just a Uper light. Okay. Let's do just a Uper light then. Uper light stone. Uper light stone, guys, coming up. Lady Madonna. The heck is that? Bo. 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 He can vogue it out. Look at this, guys. Uper light stone. About a three and a half ouncer on that one. You ain't seen nothing yet. B -b -b Baby, the ain't seen nothing yet. You ready? Boom! Check it out, guys. Look at that. Killer, killer. It's UV awesome. reaction right there. Three and a half ounce Uperlite stone. That's a nice one, too. <laughs> you need a knife? What's your price on that one, baby girl? You're from northern Michigan? Nice, Catherine. One of these days, I want to come to Michigan and find some of these. Um, $20 start. $20 start. $20 start on the three and a half ounce Uperlite stone. I've never seen it take somebody so. <laughs> the heck is that? Oh, you putting that up? No. What are you doing with it? I'm not doing anything. Oh. She is. Heard through the grapevine. I used to love that song by the Raisins. By the California Raisins. Yes. By the California. I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> you just heard about these stones recently? Oh, uh, I've known about them for a couple years now, and I love them. Absolutely love them. Uper light stones. I've had some really cool ones made into spheres. <laughs> I've had some polished ones that were sent to me. Just That's some neat good, ones. Like, first $20 start on the Uperlite stone. Here, I'm going to add a marble to go with it. Bobby McGee. Here you go. Ooh. And we're going to add a really nice marble to go with it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at this marble. Blue, purple, green. Wow. That right there is a killer marble, guys. 
and the Uperlite stone. Look at that. $20 start. They might not be too hard to find down there, but they sure do get pricey, the bigger ones, as you get the larger ones. Thomas is in at 20. Thank you, brother man. 20 looking for 21. 20 looking for 21. And that marble is absolutely exquisite from the wifey's collection. Thank you. I'm going to get some marbles for the, the last lot, and you're going to add some marbles for the last lot. Under the boardwalk. 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 <laughs> Under the boardwalk. Down by the sea. Ooh, yeah. On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Boom, 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 under the boardwalk. <laughs> Haven't hardly put a dent in your bucket yet. Very, very cool, Matt. 21 or higher. Yeah, it should say C. Smith. Did I not write it down? Oh, uh, I forgot to write it down. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find it as soon as the auction's over. Do you guys remember who got the C. Smith bottle? I think it might have been Steve. Pharmacist. I think it was Steve Joyner, I'm pretty sure. But for some reason, I Not forgot. Do this forgot every to write auction. it down. Looks like a crazy J Bo. I know it does it look nuts, doesn't it? Let's see if it glows, Matt. It is a J Bo. It doesn't glow. It got a little purple, but man, not compared to that Uper light. But it's still a J Bo. Twenty-one or higher. The wife says it is a J Bo. Yeah, I see it. He's going to be in the next 21 or higher. Anybody else? We're going to go to last call. 10 seconds to bid. 21 or higher. Six. In five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Thomas Miller. $20 pickup, my brother. Killing it. Last item of the night. Right around 20? No, that was 18. Uh -huh. well, no, because you don't have the Steve one down, so yeah, that would be 20. This oh, yeah, I don't have the C. Smith one. There's, I got six so far. Okay. Seven. Yeah, Catherine, maybe you and Matt McBottles could get together and look for some Uperlite stones. That would be mm -hmm. really cool. Uper light stone. I got my uper light, uper light, uper light stone. Thomas Miller. All right. What else we got, little hon? We're doing a marble lot. We're going to go in the Doing cabin. another marble lot? Okay. Gonna pick us one out of yours. I'm going to pick, pick us some out. Pick us some out. 
Because I've got... Well, mine are... My good ones are up there on the shelf. Well, right down there. Pick out some nice ones. And you have some nice ones in that little container. All right. Let me drop them out and see what I got. Two, four, six, eight. Let me see. <laughs> that's a pretty blue one. Okay, nine. That's nine. That's nine. Give me a cockatiel and a whatever. A cockatiel and a ladybug. That's eleven. Your sister. Oh, there's a real pretty pink, Cleary. No, it's for the lizard. Twelve. Need four more. You don't have oh, there's a pretty cat eye, I think it is, green. No, that's not a cat eye. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Looking. I think it might be a ghost. There's a peach cat eye. I'll pick out the last one. Okay, baby. I'm going to get a shooter size. There should be a whole bag of shooters over here somewhere. Yes, Unless you confiscated them. Right here. You did confiscate them. I took them from you because you would get to shoot them all in one option. For what? Do a shooter lot. Yes, they're for the lizard. Ricardo's been loving them gra them crickets, Knob Pod. Yeah, we got them crickets. And Wilbur's been eating munching on them, too. Except for Wilbur's got like three of them hiding out Here. in his cage. Come on. What, honey? Huh? Take the marbles, please. Okay. Is it 16 of them? If, if you need one, I have an extra one. Ow, All right, guys. This is it for the night here. This is the last run of the night. We got a yellow shooter for the middle. And these are going to be some absolute banger, banger marbles. We got a purple and white. Beautiful purple and white. We got a crazy kind of a neon orange and white. You just knocked my light out. We got a beautiful cleary pink. Honey, just stop what? touching stuff. Babe, you dropped the marble. We got a blue and white. I dropped it right here in between my no, feet. Roll back here. Oh, give me one more then. Drop one. We got a Cub Scout. Cub Scout, blue and yellow. We got a real nice orange, blue, and white. We got a deep cobalt in white. We got a real nice kind of a smoky bluish and black mixed with white. Keepers. Got a beautiful teal. Look at the teal and orange mix. Crazy looking marbles. Got a ghost. Green ghost. Look at that. Green ghost. Got a little bit of ox blood. A little bit of ox blood on that one, I believe. We got a ladybug. We got a cockatiel. And then we got this crazy looking one. Blue, green, yellow, orange. Oh, yeah. One more. And a really nice yellow... German wire pull. Yellow German wire pull. There you guys go. The final 16 marbles of the night. Let's go ahead and check these out in the UV light. See what kind of reaction we get here. Oh my gosh, guys. What in the world? Look at those marbles. Some crazy, awesome UV reactive marbles. In the lot, I'd say probably a good 14 out of the 16 are really highly reactive. And the other two still are reactive. All 16, all 16 are UV reactive marbles, guys. Run with it. 
And we're going to let you guys have the power one last time tonight. Bitter's Choice. Bitter's Choice on the 16 Glow Marble Lot. There you guys go. There it is. Finish with this. Finish off strong tonight. This is it. For all the marbles. Thomas is at 15, looking for 16. Violet's at 17, looking for 18. Poofy's at 19, looking for 20. Thomas is at 20, looking for 21. On that one didn't sell. It's gonna be in the box. Cause I just put it back in the box. He just told him all of them sold. Sorry, that one didn't. Looking for twenty six. See Violet. We see Thomas. See Teresa. Thomas is leading the pack <laughs> at twenty five, looking for twenty six. Teresa's back at twenty six, looking for twenty seven. 26 looking for 27. Uh, Thomas is in at 30 looking for 31. Uh, just get 31 or higher, please. Hmm? I just it in the Teresa is out. Thank you, sister lady. 31 or higher. Violet's at 31. 32 or higher. <laughs> Thomas Miller is at 32. 33 or higher, please. Violet, 33. Yes, thank you, sister lady. 34 or higher. Thomas is back at 35, 36 or higher. Where did Gary go, Gary? He's like, I got my marble on, I'm good. <laughs> Hollywood can have my voice, they just gotta call me. 36 or higher. He's a goofball, y'all. Goofball. 36 or higher. 16 marble lot. Last bit, uh, last, uh, uh, last. Violet's at 36, looking for 37. 36 looking for 37. Thomas is in the 40. 40 looking for 41. Forty one or higher. Haley. Here, this is for Josh. Sixteen beautiful marbles. Violet is at forty one. Forty one looking for forty two. It's didn't sell. It's an expensive bottle. Didn't sell. No. <laughs> Thomas is out. Thank you, sir, for the two or higher. For the two or higher, please. Anybody else interested? For the two. Or how? <laughs> you do sound like that freaking crazy guy on that show. Okay, guys. Last call. You have 10 seconds to bid. <laughs> Mark. 42 or higher, please. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. So it's a violet at 41. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> He's like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> nice pickup, Violet! Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> that made my belly. I did a belly laugh there. All right, guys. Let's get the final giveaway out. Give it away, give it away. Sorry to spook you, Mark, brother, man. <laughs> Just having a little bit of fun. Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It was weird, but funny. You're going to have nightmares from that final <laughs> call. <laughs> I hope not. I'm sorry. You can call me anytime, day or night. He won't answer, Violet. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I could be dying and he wouldn't answer the call. When he's out, he is out. Like a light. Throat's going to be hurting after that? No way, bud. I'm pretty good at it. Lots of practice. He used to drive my mom crazy. John saw a six foot tall leprechaun yesterday. What in the world? <laughs> Leprechauns aren't real. <laughs> Possessed marble lot. Yeah. That's what that was, guys. Should have called them your precious. Speaking of precious, final giveaway. Final giveaway. Final giveaway, guys. We got a Listerine mouthwash. If I can reach the table here. We got a little tiny medical tube. We're going to put in there as well. And a really cool milk glass. A really cool milk glass perfumer. Check that out. Neat little design on that. All three of those. Final giveaway right there. All right. We got 40 people in the room still. You want to pick a number, baby girl? Between 1 and 40? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me write that down. I am ready. I will call out when I see the number, honey. Okay, baby girl. <clears throat> the medical tube is called a vial, Poopy said. A vial. My fault. I think that it does glow. I think that milk glass is going to glow, but let's go ahead and check her out real quick. Give you a little, yeah. little peek. Oh, look at the selenium, guys. Look at the pink glow on that milk glass bottle. The Listerine actually has a little tiny green hint to it. And the vial, just a little tiny green as well. But that selenium, that looks really sweet, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, I do this every Saturday, my brother, man, Josh. Hello, Travis. See above. See above. I'm just Travis. I'm going to have from the nightmare. What happened? All I see is nightmare. Nightmare from the final call, right? I almost showed the number. <laughs> I got the number wrote down, guys. I'm putting the number behind the turntable. I'm going to count down from five, and you're going to guess the number between one and 40. Here we go. In five, four. Three, two, one. Everybody start guessing. The number between one and 40. Final giveaway of the night. Here we, we go. 
And they're off. I do not see anybody winning just yet, guys. Keep them going. Keep them going. Oops, stop. Cease fire. Cease fire. From Lone Coney, Maryland. Yep. Four. From Lone Coney, Maryland. Swarty, how about that, brother man, Jake? Brother man, Jaco. Good job, Swarty. Swarty. Check it out. Right here. Number 24. Number 24, Jake Swarty's Garage. Taking down the final giveaway of the night. Good job, Swarty. Yes, sir. That was number four. Good job, shorties. Number four was Good number job. 24. Oh, I was going to say, it was 24. And that was shorties. No, it was them shorties. Good job, shorties. And what was the other question that we got asked, honey? Where we were from. Where we was from. Good old coal mining town called Lona Coney, Maryland. We're in western Maryland. On, in Allegheny County. Dad, time to play my favorite song. Um, the one pint Eldridge didn't sell. Those two were a giveaway. <clears throat> that was giveaway number two, I believe. And that was for Urban Sasquatch. Doesn't need box. These ones are for Swarty's Garage. Swarty's? Yep. Shorty's. Antietam. I think that's a good bit of ways. Probably about two or three hours away, Mark. If I'm not mistaken. But guys, let me flip these around real quick. Turn that light back on up top, Trev. That's all right. I don't need it. I really appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Thank you so much. It means so much to me and my family. But we really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, thank you. I'll have a brand new video out tomorrow on digging. And then next Wednesday, I'll have my new um, work video out. So two new videos coming up, guys. Stay tuned. And appreciate you. Thanks for the support. As always, I'm going to flip these back around into the light box. I'm going to put up my beer stein that I dug with my buddy Travo for show and tell again. There it is. The Benevolent Protective Order of the Elks. We're going to put on Bottle Hound version number one. Two, Two don't work anymore. We're going to put on Bottle Hound version number one. I did. I dug that brother man with Trab Jr. about five or six years ago. Here we go. Yes, Catherine, you will. If you guys want want to book a dig with me, I am more than welcome, more than happy to dig with you. Get a hold of me, send me a private message, whatever, and we'll set something up. You can check me out on Facebook, Crick Diggers Mafia. And Crick Diggers Mafia members. Both of those are my pages. Yeah, Mike, I'll play some Fortnite after the auction, buddy. Appreciate that, John. Yep, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Hope nobody gets pinched tomorrow. Wear your green. Have a great night. Large yellow shooter to Thomas. Okay. That's all right, Josh. A lot of people don't do the Facebook. 
But for those of you that do, I post uh, my preview cleanups, little video clips, and there's a section for you guys to post your stuff as well. Go ahead, baby. I zoomed out, but it's not keeping up. Tell him what, honey. That's for auction only content. If you have any questions about the auction, you can email that back email on the wall the wife's trying to say. I hope everybody has a great, great rest of the weekend. See you back. <laughs>